a viewer that goes by the name 50 red 510 uh, asks uh, wants to know how to automate a method of retrieving specific text off a Wikipedia I'm assuming article so let's go ahead and do that today let's look at an article here let's look at our Linux article so let's say we want to grab a section how about this info box right here with uh, all the basic info about Linux. Almost every Wikipedia article has this quick overview of uh, whatever it is the article's on. And I'm in Chrome right here. I'm gonna hit F12 to bring up their little um, console down here. And under Elements, I'm gonna click this little magnifying glass. I'm gonna hover over here until that box is highlighted. And I can see down here in the code that this is a table and it has a class of info box. I'm going to assume at this point that the, it's the only object on the page that's labeled info box. It may or may not be. We'll find out as we proceed. So what we're also gonna look at is where that table ends, which we can easily see in this view here. It is a table and the table closes with, I think I went past it here. Did I even open up the tag? No, so I open it up and we can see it closes with the closing table tag. So as long as there's no table within that table, uh, the code I'm going to show you right here works. So it really depends on what you want to get off the page, but let's just retrieve this info here, the basic text out of there. Uh, probably not going to grab the image, although we could, but I'm assuming that's uh, linking to some on this page and it's going to pull down the name of that file, but not necessarily the, um, the full length. Uh, the full link, the full URL, which we could do if we want to, but keeping things simple here, let's go ahead and work on that. So let's grab the URL for the page here, and let's go to our shell here, and what we're going to type, we're going to use wget, you can also use curl, we just need something that can download that page, the plain, the, the source code of that. I'm going to do Q because we don't want to have the output, uh, although you could, of the download information. If something goes wrong, you can turn off that Q to get a little more information. Then I'm gonna say uh, dash capital O, that's for our output. And instead of getting a file name, I'm gonna give it a dash, which sends it to standard out. At which point, we're gonna pipe it into said. And I've shown in the past how to grab all the information, uh, all the lines between two lines containing certain strings. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do dash N. And then inside some single quotes here, we're gonna say forward slash. And as we said, info box was the class that was in forward slash comma forward slash and then we're going to want that closing table tag uh, which is like this but uh, we also have to remember that since there's a forward slash in this we're going to have to use a backslash before that forward slash so that it doesn't think that it's this ending forward slash um, next oh and you also want to spell table properly uh, and then we're going to put a P at the end here. So this is going to search through the document and find the first line that contains info box and grab that line and every line through a line that contains the table tag and grab that table that line as well. And it will output it. So we do that and there's that code right there. A uh, little hard to read at this point. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we could write a script and there are tools out there to remove all the HTML tags and just leave us with the plain text. Uh, but let's go ahead and leave the HTML tags and we'll have some sort of formatting in it then. So what I can do here is I can pipe it into a file. Let's go ahead and clear the screen here. Pipe it into a file, I'll just call it info.html. HTML, and we'll hit enter. So all that, that basically all the HTML from within that tag is now stored in this file. And we can open it up with, again, a text editor and see the code. Uh, there are some text-based, uh, actually, let's go ahead and try this out. I wasn't planning on doing this, but we'll see. There's a few different um, text-based web browsers you can install uh, called links. Each one's spelt a little different. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say links, and I'm just gonna say dump to dump the information. And then I'll say info uh, dot HTML. And there we go, that program outputs all the links, but here is the text from within that uh, box. Another thing we can do since we have it saved as an HTML file, clear the screen again, I can say open it up with whatever web browser I use. So that same file that we've already saved, I can open it up with Google Chrome. And there we go, again, we don't have the image, the image box is there, but it doesn't link to it properly. But here is all that information, all the text information that is inside this box right here. Uh, so another thing we can do, now that we have that code, we should be able to apply it to uh, most Wikipedia pages. Like I said, most of them have a, a box. So here's the page for Unix. So again, I can 
grab that URL and just go ahead and replace it. In fact, I don't even have to paste it. I can just come over here and know I change Linux to Unix to get that article. And we just overwrote the old file. So of course, if you don't want to overwrite, you can always create a new file. But again, I'll say uh, Google Chrome info.html. And there we go. Now we have all the info from within this box, again, excluding the image, which with a little more coding, you can definitely grab as well. Um, but basically, if we're just looking for the text, and then you can also, you know, grep through that and cut it up if you just wanted something in particular. Uh, so that is how you would grab a certain section, an example of how you can grab a certain section of a web page, in this case, uh, a Wikipedia article using a shell script. I thank you for watching. I hope that helps answer the viewer's question in a quick way. And as always, please visit my website. That's filmsidechris.com, Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. As always, have a great day.